Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. So today I'm coming at you guys with a fairly quick Daiso haul. I kind of went in there picking up two sets of products for a planner on a budget. I wanted to see what kind of planner products they had there and what you could get for just a few bucks. So we're going to go ahead and dive right in and I have two kind of color palettes that I'm working with. One is really light and airy and then the other is kind of neutral, a little modern, but you could definitely rustic it up a lot while creating in your planner. Now just an FYI, my hubby is outside on the tractor, so you might get some background noise of the rumblings of that, but that's just a part of country living. So the first thing we are going to take a look at in the Daiso planner line of things is this here. This is the Buenona Planner in the black cover. It's a 30 page organizer binder ring system. It looks like this, super simple. Now it does not come with all the fixins inside. This actually cost $4 and I thought it was really cute. I wanted to pick it up mainly because I knew I had pages that could fit this binder from an old Recollections planner binder that I got. I purchased some myself, found several sets on clearance, and I also had a friend to the channel send me her entire craft supply with a Recollections planner binder, all the pages, all the dividers, and everything else inside of it. She literally sent me her whole craft room. She was expecting at the time they needed to make room, so congrats to them, that was a long time ago and now I have it and I actually wanted to compare it to this one just a little bit so you can get an idea of what it is. So this is the Recollections Planner Binder. This is the one that I purchased and I actually converted it into a mini Happy Planner Binder. I actually love the mini Happy Planner that is usually what I work with but I wanted to kind of branch out and try something different this year. So the one she sent me has all of these non-dated pages and dividers in it. And back to the one that I purchased, it was $4. You can see the size difference. It does kind of get rid of all of that extra border like this one has, or that this one has. This one's bigger and wider. And this one has just this little slide in closure. This one has a button closure, which is great because you know it's going to stay shut. And then you open it up. This one has a pen holder. It has the pockets and then the clear plastic slip for your driver's license or your ID or whatever you have. This one has a lift up pocket and then this one has a slide pocket. Yeah, just on the one side. Now this one has bigger binder rings than this one but the opening is pretty much the same. Okay, so that's just for those of you that have the Recollections pl Planner or you've seen it and you know, uh, you kind of have an idea in your mind on what to compare it to. And this is what it looks like. I mean, it comes with a little cardboard piece here. And it just comes with the 30 blank pages. Now to show you really quick that the Recollections pages do fit, I have some to-do notes here that slide in just fine. So there's that. I thought for $4 it's beautiful, it's very well made, it's got really nice bones to it. I thought why not? On a budget? I mean that's amazing. So there's that. Next, I found this pack of faux leather fabric. And I did see that they had like a burgundy, a blue, and this gorgeous green color. Now this is beautiful for anyone that wants to make like a faux cover or some kind of pouch. I just thought it was gorgeous. I will most likely, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what I wanna use it for yet but for some reason I have been feeling this gorgeous green color. I do have green in my house as decor but I've never really worked with it in a planner 
or any crafting type things. It's a really pretty shade of green. Okay, so this is just a super gorgeous shade of green. So deep and just, I love it. So there's that. I thought that was amazing. Next, kind of sticking to this, I don't know what, I don't know, I don't want to say neutrals, but sticking to this almost like modern style, I found this Von Braun little notepad. It is a kind of like planner style notepad. It's a gorgeous cream color or off-white eggshell color. And the little pages are just like this. It has a space for your date and number or whatever. And it's just enough to make perfect little notes. If you're like me and you just have to write random stuff that pops into your head, otherwise you will forget it even though you tell yourself not to forget. I have to get it on paper. Anyway, so there's that. I thought that was beautiful. Just a great addition to this little setup. Next, I picked up this four pack of masking tape is what they call it, but it's washi. You have your alphabet here, you have your days of the week, your numbers to the month, and then you have check boxes. You can't get more basic than that on what you need for your planner setup if you decide to go ahead and add these to your planner layout. It's already done for you. You don't have to worry about writing it. You can cut them into little pieces. You can use it as a strip. You can do whatever you want. It's really cute, totally functional. You could put it on a flat uh, plastic scrap sheet from one of the projects using the Dollar Tree chopping mats and put it as a to-go washi. I mean, it's your options are limitless here and it definitely will serve a purpose. You'll most likely go through this quicker than you'll go through any other washi that you use for decorative purposes. This is decorative and functional. I love this. Four for a buck. I mean, you can't really tell how much is in there, but I thought they were definitely worth the, or not a buck, but a buck 50. I thought they were definitely worth it. You're getting enough product to make it fully functional and actually get some use out of it. How precious is that? I absolutely love that. So yeah, there is that. So cute. I love those little numbers. Look at that. The numbers, check boxes, days of the week, and then your alphabet. Adorable. Sticking to washi, I found this one. I thought this would go really well with my overall theme. I'm trying to go not minimalist. I have a ton of junk journal style planner inserts that I have had a whole lot of fun creating, but I actually want to kind of tone down the organization creativity in my planner that I'm going to be using for my everyday stuff and my personal Etsy information and tracking that because I have really focused on organizing my system for my Etsy shop because I have been working on building a foundation in that. I have worked really hard on somewhat building a foundation on YouTube for the years that I've been on here because I kind of took a little bit of a hiatus. I had a lot going on in life with moving and trying to adjust to a whole different lifestyle and still trying to stay somewhat active on YouTube. So I have a lot that I want to keep organized and and clear in my life. Um, we are very comfortable with our life right now and we just kind of want to keep it that way. That being said, I want my, whatever this system is going to be for, I want it to be a little bit minimalist and clean so that whenever I come on and create, I can just get grungy and dirty and creative and do all the things with you guys. That way we can just experiment with stuff and I don't have to worry about mixing my personal with my channel and keep my personal stuff nice and organized and contained and then come on here and just let loose on the channel. So I like this one because it's very simple, very clean line. It says my list on these two here and then I do like this kind of brownish white pattern and then this little touch of blue and this off-white in this one. So this is what it looks like. They are fairly large strips. 
Each little box is each little box is two and a quarter inches top to bottom and it is two inches left to right. So that is going to give you plenty of room to create your little task sections. You can cut them down and actually get them to be smaller than what they are. You can use them as full functional little sheets or you can use them as decorative stuff. I thought this was really cute and they don't all say my list on it. So you actually have uh, other possibilities for the things that aren't labeled as a to-do list or something like that. And you could write down memories and stuff on those as opposed to just creating a list with it. I got this five pack of masking tape, but it's washi tape. And I love this color palette. Like, I don't know. I feel like I want my planner to kind of match my home. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. My crafting is definitely different than my home decor and organization. My home decor and organization is a combination of vintage, rustic, farmhouse, and just natural elements. I, I do a lot of mixed metals. I do a lot of naturals like woods and fabrics. I do a lot of um, white furniture with dark woods. Of course, the white furniture is distressed and I love for it to look old. And I, it, they're old pieces that I painted and gave new life to. You can follow me on Instagram at hashtag Bates House DIY to take a look at a few of the things that I have done. I'll probably do an overlay so you can kind of get an understanding because my planner style is totally different from my home decor style because again, it's I feel like it's a creative place where you can let loose and make a mess as opposed to in my house because in my house, I'm not about that life. <laughs> so there's that. Anyway, here is a combination of colors that I thought looked beautiful, perfect to coordinate with this. We have this really dark blue. It looks like almost black, but it's a definite dark blue shade. And then we have this one here, this kind of like, I don't know, it almost looks like a greenish gray. It's a gray with a green undertone, that's for sure. And then this blue color here, we have this matte green and then this pale green. I just thought this was the perfect color combination for what I'm planning on doing in this planner that I'm going to be working in to keep my life simple. Alrighty, sticking to the color palette, we have a few pieces of sticky notes here. So I have two or three different kinds. I have the thin one, the wide one, and then the decorative one. I thought this was absolutely adorable. So these are the Cordy Chic Film Sticky Notes and they come on this little plastic paper or this little plastic piece, plastic paper, that, that just doesn't even make any kind of sense. There are six styles with 20 pieces each. And look how clean and beautiful that looks. That is just beautiful. It's a gray and green color palette. Just gorgeous. There's about one, two, three different shades of gray and then you have those green undertones. Just beautiful. So there is that one. And then we have these here. Now this, I, this I did not realize. I have looked at these like a 20 times and not once did I realize that they were actually on a ruler strip with holes punched for a binder or some kind of organizer maybe that they are made for. I don't know. But what I do know is that I love this. I love that they have their own little uh, base ruler and you can keep them in your planner, you know, and pop them in and out because they are not hole punch or they are not closed. The punch actually has this really nice uh, divot into it. Anyway, so we have this kind of off-white here, this really pretty, this is like a, almost like a jade green, but darker. And then you have this gray and then this really pretty green here. This is like your pop of color. I thought this was beautiful. So there's that. 
Next, we have these two here. I swear, guys, I had no clue these things were on rulers. I don't know how I totally missed that. But they are, so that is really cool. I like these. These are wider. I actually use dividers uh, or little divider tabs like this in my YouTube room or my YouTube channel and now my Etsy shop tax prep organization. I'll write the month on the end here and that's how I divide my receipts so that I can just flip through and keep flipping and um, just put this directly onto the receipt. And then when I take all the information out, I just put it together and it's not a huge financial loss or investment in the dividers that I'm using to separate those receipts every year because I take them all and put them into a file system and then I have them there in case of any kind of auditing or anything like that. So there is that. I love this. Again, same colors. It looks like basically all they did was take a full section and split it in half. It's pretty much exactly what they did. But either way, it's a gorgeous color palette. I can't tell you how excited I am to combine all of these pieces just in my regular everyday life planning. Now let's go ahead and move on to some craft room goodies. I actually used one of these in my most recent Dollar Tree video. Guys, check these out. These are $1.50 for a set of two and I did pick up several packs because if you are new to the channel, welcome. I actually have a ton of the pink blades from Dollar Tree, but but you can't find those anymore. So I really wanted to get something that I really liked that wasn't the black ones from Dollar Tree, and these are it. They were beautiful. I fell in love with them when I saw them. I use metal cutters or these little box cutters for absolutely everything when it comes to crafting. I like to cut on a mat when I'm recording, so for me it just makes life so much easier to just be able to put my ruler down, cut a long straight line, and not have to worry about being under or in the way of the camera. So there is that. These are just fantastic. I am so excited for them. I did pick up only one pack whenever I went one time because this is a collective haul, but the last time that I went I had to pick up more because they were just, they're beautiful. They're so slim. They're lightweight, they are metal, and they're kind of shimmery, like almost glittery. So I had to pick those up and stock up. So there is that. Okay guys, so moving on. I, when I work on projects, I actually have a little basket that I set all of the kind of project or current project washi into so that I can kind of flip through it and get inspired and kind of pull whatever it is that's calling my attention for whatever project I'm doing. And usually I'll have a collection of like 20 washi on the table. Okay, maybe not 20, more like eight to 10 on the table just to be able to reach for it and grab it and then a lot of the times they're rolling around i have a little tray up here but i never put them into that because it's just i don't know it's not too cute so i don't ever put them into it because i don't want it in the shot that being said i did find these adorable little containers they are the washi tape stackable organizers now i actually have some of these from uh daiso that i got previously but they don't they aren't like they don't look exactly like this. Like these are so much cuter. They are very straight line, which is what I really like about it. And then they are, uh, they have these really nice teeth here to cut your washi. I'll show you what the other ones look like and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is the one that I picked up recently. Really cute, nice and straight line, very compact, really good to have on your desktop when you're working. And these are the ones that I got previously, which are a lot more chunky. They take up a lot more room. They're not as, I don't know, I feel like that one's just nicer than this. This, I feel like, just has a lot going on. It almost looks like a little, like a little lunch pail. But, I mean, it's really cute. It is that, don't get me wrong, fully functional, but I don't want it on my desktop in videos. I think this would look cuter on my desktop in videos. So I did pick up two of those for that purpose 
to kind of store the stuff that I'm using for current projects. And this, I'm just going to set it aside and use it in other areas. Alrighty guys, so we're getting down to the last four things, or three things. Um, I did pick up these scissors. They are really pretty. I do have a collection of scissors here, but I've gone through so many and I am horrible on my scissors. I cut whatever with whatever. I just grab and cut. So I know you're technically not supposed to cut adhesive stuff with a pair and then you're supposed to not cut uh, just paper with fabric scissors, whatever. I come across good scissors for cheap. I buy them, I use them, and then they get wore out. And I'll clean them off several times but they don't look cute in videos. So this one I got for video purposes for this planner. I think this looks really cute coordinated with everything else. It's a fantastic clear plastic um, simple look that I think is exactly what we're going for. So whenever I create content using this planner, we will have a very nice pair of scissors to coordinate with that. Moving on, I wanted to see, because you can't open stuff in there and it's really hard to understand what it says, I wanted to see if these blades were actually refills for these blades. Because if that's the case, there are, sorry, I didn't even read any information. There are 20 pieces of replacement blades in this box. And if it is the same blade, which I think it is, Guys, you get 20 replacement blades for these. Okay, it is, but they're just, no, they're not shorter, they're the same. Wow, so you get 20 replacement blades in this box for a buck 50, like you cannot beat that. So technically I didn't even have to buy all of these, but I do like to have just a lot of them because it just looks really pretty. But you don't even have to buy all of these. You can buy one pack for $1.50 buy one of these for $1.50 and you are good for like ever because I have what two four six eight nine I have nine pink blades there that I have had for years I've already got more here than what I've used in the several years that I've had the pink ones so that is pretty freaking awesome but this yellow thing is killing me so we're just gonna leave it like that Okay, next I found this super tiny craft punch in a circle shape. So it's a simple circle punch. And I feel like if you put it in the, like if you want an envelope in your planner and you just put the tip right or the edge of the envelope right here in the center and you punch it, that should give you that little rounded indention for you to know that that's where your envelope is. A circle shape, you can't go wrong with it especially for a buck 50. It's got really nice weight to it and uh, we shall see how it punches. So I'm gonna take this from the Van Braun little notebook and we're going to hole punch. Came out super clean. Let's do two layers. Super clean and easy let's do this would be four layers why not okay four layers might be a bit much let's do oh it's got tape on it crap well let's do the three layers without the tape that went through just fine applying a little pressure so three layers, three layers with a little round punch. I think that's great for a buck 50. It's small enough to fit in a little travel bag if it's something that you'll use often. I thought it was a really nice piece, so I did pick that up. Alrighty guys, so that is pretty much it for this Daiso gorgeous kind of muted color palette planner haul. The next one that I have is really cute. I got some pink goodies, some minty green goodies, I'll just do this really quick as a little kind of like tease for you guys. Little eye candy tease. Ready? Oh, what you know about that? So all in all, for roughly 20 bucks, 21-ish, or whatever after tax, 
you can get a really cute little setup to start your planner collection. Now, I did notice that they had planners, but they didn't have anything that fit inside this one. So I would say keep your eyes peeled for a small binder planner set if you can come across some or maybe repurpose some expired ones because that's what I'm going to do. I don't see the need in having to toss things if they're expired because you just put washi and then it's like brand new. So there's that. I do hope that you enjoyed. Let me know what you think about this color palette. Are you totally feeling it like me or is it just something weird that I'm going through? I just really want to keep it minimal in my lifestyle planner that I want to make sure I keep organized because guys, when it comes around to tax season, like being organized or not being organized is no joke. You have to have a system and I want to make sure that I just put my best foot forward, keeping up with the things that I need to take care of. I'm always really good about my tech systems, but I wanted to just kind of keep it simpler through the year so I don't have to kind of time crunch mid-year and at the end of the year. That being said, if you enjoyed this haul, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you think about this color palette. Also, let me know what your favorite goodie is. If you have any friends that are getting into the planner community or budget planning community, go ahead and share this video with them. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell on your way out so you will be notified of the new video that I will have coming out soon, showing you guys the other stuff. Also, roughly around the same price and other video content that I post on the regular. You can follow me on my Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. And for now, guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye!